I'm meeting today with a high school hurdler. She just finished her freshman season. Uh, my name is Leah and I'm 15 years old. In track, I do the 100 hurdles and 300 hurdles. She had a really good season. Not only did she qualify for state in both the 100 and 300 hurdles, she made it to the finals in both. And ended up taking eighth in both. Her parents contacted me because she really wants to take hurdling seriously and wanted to get some extra help. So I'm gonna check her out and see what we got to work with. I'm gonna use my ACE method. ACE stands for Analyze, Correct, and Empower. I'm gonna start off by analyzing her technique and go from there. So I'm gonna have you run over these four hurdles spaced out like 100 meters. And I just wanna just see what you naturally do and we'll go from there, okay? Come over here, let me, let me show you what I've got. So this is you from the side. Overall, I think you're doing a lot of things really good, especially for just finishing your freshman year in high school. Um, you are floating a bit too much over the hurdles and your stride in between the hurdles is more stretched out than I'd like to see. I'd really rather you rely more on pure running speed to get to the hurdle versus stretching out like that. The main issue I see is when I see you from the front. Your lead leg tends to swing in from the outside. Can you see that? Yeah. Rather than coming straight on, okay? Um, and that's something we're gonna have to try to fix. Leah, let me ask you, how many years have you been hurdling? Four. Four? Uh, when you were younger, did you used to take five steps between the hurdles? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, the reason why I say that is because when you take five steps between the hurdles, you end up being pretty close to the hurdle, right? And then your body just, or your mind just subconsciously knows that if you go straight on, you're probably gonna kick yourself, hit your shin or something. So what people tend to do is learn to swing their leg around the hurdle. Okay, so we're gonna have to break that habit. Okay, so we're gonna go back to basics. I'm gonna show you how a hurdle leg is supposed to go and then we'll move from there, okay? Sometimes it's a tough habit to break, but uh, we're gonna start from the basics and work from there. So this is a less than ideal location here with this surface, but this is all we have, so we'll just work with it. Um, we're gonna do what's called a wall drill. And that's when you put the hurdle up against the wall and you get to use the wall as, a, as a, something to stop against. And we're just gonna focus on your lead leg. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the same thing that we were just learning over at the wall and we're going to apply it to here, just walking. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to jog over them. Okay, one of the things I like to do uh, after I teach a basic technique is have the athletes do it at a slow speed. That way they can just really focus on the technique rather than having to get over a hurdle. So I put the hurdles close and as they master it at one distance, I gradually spread it out and then spread it out even more. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to be going over the center of the hurdle instead of just with your lead leg, okay? I just started and I'm now like getting better at it, even with like the simple techniques and I can't wait for more to come. <laughs> if you'd like to learn how I might be able to coach you either in person or online, you could go to acemethodcoaching.com to learn more, or you could also see that link in the notes below. You're making good progress. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it back at the same distance that we started off with today, and then we're gonna have you go over with uh, your new approach, okay? While the lead leg still isn't coming in perfectly straight, we were able to make a lot of progress in just this first session. Over time, we'll get it. Um, I'm ready for the season to start. <laughs> 
because I'm now starting to get better, way better than I was at the end of the season. Overall, that was a good first session. Um, even though she had a multiple issues to work on, the main one was that lead leg. And once we can straighten out that lead leg, that straightens out other issues with the upper body as well, since the body always works uh, to balance itself out. Um, but uh, I'm gonna work with her some more over time and we'll see what kind of progress we can make. Make sure to subscribe to get new videos each week and also share this with anyone that you think might like it. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a like below and it'll also let me know to make more.